Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to Zimmer's Garage. Today we're gonna go look at what we ended up doing with the Mustang. Um, nice day. Basically, I wanted to film this, but I was helping um, a guy who was helping me, so I wasn't really able to film without giving everybody good shots as what was going on but uh basically here's what we have um so this car in my opinion was badly neglected it sat for a while it wasn't taken very good care of in the latter years but uh as you can see new control arms New sway bar links. Um, here's the control, old control arms, which you had to use a torch to cut off the old one to get to the bearing because it was seized. And this one, the spring's actually rusted onto it. But it does look nice. Here are the new ones. I don't know. If you can really see but um new tires too so it handles much better before it was a lot of clunking and um just wasn't riding very good you could feel a lot of indifferences in the front end but now we're good to go so uh new shocks for the rear i'll be doing a video on these these will be going on soon but and also these headlights, you can see, they're just old, they're kind of fogged, there's a crack right here. So, I found actually some really nice replacements, actually for the Cobra Mustang for 55 bucks on the internet. So I'm going to order those, um, I do have a cold air intake coming also, uh, hopefully you Hopefully get that in this week. I had one order previously, but because of the whole situation going on, um, they just weren't able to get it. So I was able to refund my money. I found a place that had it in stock. And now I have it on the way. Hopefully it'll be here by the end of the week. But I got it all cleaned out. Um, everything inside's working good. One thing we do have to do next is oil pressure sending unit. I notice on the gauges that the oil pressure is low. So common failure on that is an oil pressure sending unit, which I'm gonna go ahead and replace. It's on it was like 20 bucks for the part. It wasn't expensive. It shouldn't be too hard, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um yeah, just a lot going on here. Um, got the F-150 sitting there. I need an oil change on that. I want to do an engine detail, kind of clean up under there. This thing needs to be cleaned. Um, this paint, I'm hoping I can get it with a nice paint correction and buff. Maybe we can get it to come back, maybe not. But I just want to get it looking better. Um... Here's my body work. Patch it in some rust here. Um, I filled that and I still gotta come back, fill it in and sand it more, but um, this is kinda where I'm at with that. Um, new rotors eventually are coming also, but. So I just wanna give everybody kind of a quick update. <laughs> Got to clean the garage too, but uh, yeah, this is where we're at uh, with the Mustang so far. So far, so good. Um, like I said, I wish I could have been able to do a more in depth with the control arms, but I was helping the guy and he needed an extra set of hands. Um, shout out to Oscar, um, local guy I found. Uh, kind of does this on the side. Really helpful, really knowledgeable. Uh, really been a big help, so major shout out to him. But uh, yeah, 
that's kind of where we're at here. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm going to get some more. i just been so busy lately, so I want to get some more videos, some more content uploaded. So, we'll get it. Like I said, we'll get into those shocks. We'll get into the... Uh, the colder intake, I'll definitely do a video on that because that's pretty simple where I can Where I'll be able to give you guys like a good look at it uh, But yeah, that's kind of where we're at here um, Next thing uh, I noticed when we we're doing the front end I do need a I do need a tie rod For the driver's side. So maybe I'll do a video on that since that's that's a pretty easy fix. I haven't done one, but it doesn't look too hard. So we'll have to get that fixed. And with that, we'll have to take it in the lineman too. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to come out with an update as to the Mustang. Um, so I'm going to keep plugging along with this. And I'm actually looking for another <laughs> another project, believe it or not. Um, I had an eye on a BMW, but unfortunately, uh, couldn't work out a deal with the seller. So we'll see what happens as you know the weather's finally nice. I can finally get out in the garage and do some stuff. But uh, uh, I'll end the video here though. But that's just a, kind of a quick update on where we're at. Uh, like I said, uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I'm not a big channel. I'd like to get it going. But uh, that'll be it, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.